Stable Swarm Beta is officially out. It is made by Stability AI and my good friend Muck Monkey. So let's go check it out and see how you get it installed on your computer. Oh, and what do you call bees that live next door? Neighbors. AI. So if you're asking yourself, what is Stable Swarm? Well, think of Stable Swarm as comfy UI just with a beautiful user interface slapped on top of it. So you can use Comfy without all the messy strings and uh, have it look like, well, a regular user interface. And it's been in alpha for quite some time. Now it's in beta. McMonkey posted this on Reddit and it says beta status means I now feel confident saying it's one of the best UIs out there for the majority of users. Majority of users. Pretty powerful statement. It also means the Swarm is now fully free and open source for everyone under the MIT license. Good news. Beginner users will love to hear that it literally installs itself. We're gonna check that out in a second. No fussing with Python packages. Just run the installer and select your preference in the UI that pops up. It can even download your first ball for you if you want. On top of that, any non-super pros will be quite happy with every single parameter having attached documentation. Just click that question mark icon to learn about the parameter and what values you should use. And this is kind of nice because now I don't have to make a tutorial about every single setting. Now I'll just tell you, look at the question mark. And it says, if you're the type of artist that likes to bust out your graphics tablet and spend your time really perfecting your image, well, I'm so sorry about my mouse drawing attempt in the GIF below. GIF, 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 that hopefully you can see the idea here. Integrated image editor suite with layers and masks and regional prompting and live preview support, etc. A lot of etc. there. Easy aspect ratio and resolution selection. No more fiddling that dang 512 default up to 1024 every time you use an SDXL. It literally updates for you. Kind of nice. Control and support. I wouldn't expect anything else. Let's see. Let's see. A clip tokenization utility to help you understand how clip interprets your text. Anyway, too much fussing about. Let's get this installed. Uh, you're going to find the link in the description below. If you like these guides, please help me out and support me on Patreon. When you find this link, scroll down here, installing on Windows. That's what we're doing. There is like Linux and other stuff as well. You can even try it on Google Colab, but we're doing it on Windows today. We're going to download this little bat file here, put it wherever you want, except the program files folder, run it. It says Windows protected your PC, just press more info and run anyway. It's not scary, I promise. And if you don't trust me, you can just go into virus total and you can drop that file straight into there. And you can see someone has already analyzed this three days ago and it says undetected. And now this one actually started installing Microsoft.net. So that's just automatically. It says found an existing package already installed, trying to upgrade, and it's just gonna keep going. Oh, it actually installs Git for me. So that's kind of nice. I already have Git. So it's checking if it needs to do anything or updating the one I currently have. So no more fiddling about with Python, Git, .NET, whatever. And here we are. So we have went further into the stable swarm installer. We have a legal, legal notice. As per usual, we're just going to click agree and don't read any of it. You can do just install and just press next, or you can check customize settings. We're going to do that just so you can see what's going on here. If you click next here, you can select the theme you want. I like the dark dreams here. The Swiber Swarm and the Gravity Blue looks kind of nice as well. If you're a lover of the white background, you have the ICR white here. Now press next. Who is the Stable Swarm UI installation going to be used by? Now I'm going to say just yourself on this PC. But if you want to run this remotely, example from your phone or from your machine, you need to select this one just yourself with LAN access. But I'm going to just use this one. I'm not going to remote into this. And now it says, what backend would you like to use? And this can be a quite daunting question for many users. But don't fret, I got you covered. If you have no idea what this is, just press Comfy UI Local, it's pre-selected, and then press Next. Now, the other option, Stability API Remote, is that if you have an API key, for example, from Ream Studio, and you're using like a cloud solution to power this, you can put your API key in here. This is just if you know what you're doing, if you have no idea what this is, you're not going to be bothered with it. And also for this, for experienced users, get back, back in the install. 
you can actually have a pre-existing comfy and uh, use that as a backend but this is uh, for advanced users for 99.9 percent .9 of you you're going to use comfy ui local press next uh, we're going to deselect all of these models because in all honesty they are less good than the custom train model so i'm going to show you how to uh, download one of them later and press next yes i am sure install now now it's going to download some stuff and it says 1.35 gigabytes while this is downloading i'm just going to go into civitai i'm going to search for epic realism i'm going to find this and i'm going to download the natural set model here and once our install is finished we're going to put that into our stable swarm if you want to download another model or an sdxl model or stable diffusion 3 whenever that is released and that will probably be inside of the installer here but you know download any model you want from Civitai. And here we go. Stable Swarm has launched. It says backends are still loading on the server, but we can see the user interface. It says you don't seem to have downloaded any models yet. Please download the model or go to the server configuration tab to set your models folder. And if we press this little thing here, we can see where everything is going. And this is inside with the paths here. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So we have our SD model folder, which is Stable Diffusion. If you press the little question mark here, you can see that the model folder to use within model root. And that means we are going to find our stable swarm folder and it's going to look something like this. And then we're going to find the models folder and then the stable fusion. Remember it said SD model folder, stable fusion. So we're going to find stable fusion and this is where we're going to put all the downloaded models. So I'm dragging and dropping my epic realism model here goes into this folder and now it is available. So if we head back here, let's go to generate. If you can't see anything in the models drop down down here, you can press the little refresh button in a second or two you should be able to see your models here. So now we have a model, we're gonna want to type here, cat in a hat, we have one image, we have resolution set here at 512 by 512. You're just gonna leave it at that for now. We might change this to four images, and we're just gonna generate. So now we can see our cats in a hat coming in live here. So this is how you get stable swarm running. As you can see here, we talked about the comfy stuff, right? So. This is the regular user interface that is more similar to, like, you know, regular applications, automatic 11, 11, whatever. You have your models down here, you have your VEs, you have the LoRa's control nets, and you have most of that up here as well. You can enable the control net here, you can check your settings, you can upload the input image and whatnot. If you click the Comfy workflow editor here, you can see you have your Comfy. There's one thing missing though, and that is the manager. If this is not installed, you can go into your stable swarm folder. We're gonna go into DL backend. We're gonna go into Comfy and Comfy UI, then custom nodes. And in here, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna type CMD. That will get us a terminal window. And we're gonna type git clone. And this URL for the Comfy UI manager, which you will be getting from this link so if you just google comfy ui manager scroll down you can find this one here git clone this one i'm going to put this in the description below as well so just put that in press enter that's going to clone the manager into your stable swarm why do you want this if you drop in your workflows and they get red nodes you need to be able to install them i'm just going to close down my swarm here there's probably a better way inside of the user interface. And I'm gonna find my Swarm folder again, just to show you how you can start it if you are lost or if you forget. There is an update Windows file if you wanna update, and there's also a launch Windows. We're just gonna double click the launch window. If you want to, you can right click, drag and drop this to create a shortcut. We're gonna launch our Windows. We have a new one launched here. And if we go into the Comfy Workflow Editor now, you can see that we have the manager down here. And that is very, 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 so very important for any user interface running a Comfy backend. Because if we drop in a workflow here now, let's take this stable video diffusion workflow. Most of the time, you're gonna be end up with this. You have a red node that you miss. So we're gonna close this. We're gonna go into the manager. I'm gonna press install missing custom nodes. This is the one that's missing. So we're just gonna press install there. That is installed. So we're gonna press this restart button. Sometimes it doesn't restart fully. So you might need to like close down your terminal and start it again. So we're gonna do just that. We're just gonna launch a new one. And as you can see now, we have no red. 
nodes. So this is image to video workflow for Stable Diffusion. You can drop in a random image. You'll see something I have on my desktop is put this in one here. The idea of this is that you can use any workflow and you can swap from the generate tab and the comfy workflow editor so that's uh that's a pretty cool feature so go check it out let me know what you think in the comments below this is in beta it's better than the alpha still a little buggy but uh honestly very very cool as always have a good one see ya